so hello guys in this video we'll design a dual band microstrip patch antenna for wireless local area network and this this conference paper i'll share it in description box as you can see this is the top view and this is bottom view and here uh, the parameters are given over here so let's start designing this in hfso software uh, this is the fso software let me open this any yes so over here we'll start designing this I hope uh, you you all can see this parameters and with that only I'm designing this so for that the first one is substrate this is the substrate and it is given that it's of it is ma made up of fr4 epoxy and <coughs> let me change this to fr4 epoxy I'll dial it to 4.4 perfect this is and regarding dimensions as it is given over here 70 cross 60 uh, cross 1.6 1.6 mm that's the dimension you can press control D it will fit into your screen now <laughs> we'll come to ground plane ground plane it's of a cross shape 31 and uh, 31 cross 8 so let me make this one was around it's of height 31 no oh, sorry width 31 let me rename this as ground one and make it as black color <coughs> size this was 31 and this would be 60 minus 31 divided by 2 that is 14.5 as you can see it is symmetrical now and similarly the second ground uh, that was of 8 mm again this is ground 2 we will later unite both of them again black color ground 2 <coughs> and that this is of minus 8 and y size is uh, this is correct and this would be 70 minus 8 by 2 70 minus 8 by 2 I hope you understand the basic symmetry okay I'm sorry this would be oh uh, 7 this would be 70 minus 8 by 2 that is 31 so this would be plus 8 now it's now they both are symmetrical and you can unite both of them and we've united it now for the upper part this part this part <laughs> the dimension was 3 cross 5 and this was in center 3 cross 5 just write it as one and same color uh, red color and this was of and definitely it was in between so 60 60 minus 3 by 2 and that is 28.5 so it will start from 28.5 and height uh, it will be one point and height would be 1.6 this is this will be 3 only but this will be minus 5 yeah, yes this is correct now another one for that take it as center make one and similarly other also
because there there was a difference of this 2 mm so again let me change this <coughs> all these were perfect but this will be 65 uh, <coughs> position would be 30 plus 1 and this will be 30 33.5 and x size would be this will be 2 let me see if yes it is correct let it be 2 and the color red later we need to unite this so i am putting a same all this a same color again 3 again dimension that this will be 30 minus 1 and x this will be minus 33.5 and this is 2 height 1.6 correct now both are symmetrical and also there was a rectangle this here and here so again first one and then second one no need to worry about that you can change the height later and let this be four red color and that uh, height width was 23 cross 11.7 all those Eleven point seven. Let me recheck this. Okay, so I did a mistake. This will be eleven point seven, and this will be twenty three. Similarly, for this also, this is five and red. <coughs> this is also <coughs> twenty three and 11.7 again I did a small mistake this will be minus 11.7 and this will be 23 so now uh, you can see this is the it is symmetrical unite all these three one two three four five and <coughs> okay so now as you can see we have ground substrate patch all this thing and lastly we need to make a feed line over here so for that we need to change the axis to zx because that's not in okay my mistake uh, to yz plane sorry this is yz plane so change this as yz plane now draw this and this is lumped port later on we will assign it as lumped port and now you can see this and for open uh, we need for radiation box we need to create an open region of uh, the frequency 3 so lambda would be 92 millimeter lambda by 423 mm so radiation <coughs> again we need to change x y and uh, open region for that 23 mm let me design this the radiation box let this this was a radiation box right and then radiation box and make it completely transparent so that you can see your <coughs> design and uh, regarding dimensions uh, this would be minus 20 minus 23 and this will also be minus 23 minus 23 and this is sorry 23 cross 2 plus plus 70 23 cross 2 plus 60 23 cross 2 plus 1.6 let me recheck this yes so as you can see this is symmetrical so it's okay 
and this is a radiation box now we need to assign uh, perfect T's to all these things <coughs> pa both patch and ground you need to assign <coughs> excitation uh, sorry assign you need to assign boundary perfect T first we have assigned this and for to ground also we need to assign boundary perfect T and this is port lump port to assign excitation lump port and over here yes this is an important integration new line I'm sorry this, this would be new line and it will go from from here to here bottom to top this is so now we did that also and uh, <coughs> this now for this box this radiation box we need to assign boundary radiation and you can see over here this excitation we have provided and this radiation and excitation yes so <coughs> now uh, later what else we need to do Anal analysis add solution setup solution frequency 5.25 gigahertz and passes increase this to 20 delta is 0 0.02 press ok and now first we go to setup add frequency sweep and for this in make it discrete sweep type and save fields this is important in order to calculate gain this is important save we need to save fields for all frequencies let it be linear step from 2 to 7 gigahertz because in that range only we need a 5.25 likes step size make it smaller 0 0.02 or 0 0.02 would be perfect and lastly radiation uh, insert power field setup infinite sphere 0 to let me make it 0 to 180 and let step size be 180 so your 5 will be at 0 or 180 only and theta would be let it be mean like this only so we have done everything now and all you need to do is validate everything is clear now and now you can press this analyze button and, and it will start analyzing <coughs> and after that analysis we will check the result thing and now we are we are analyzing and now coming to the re results part so for result like in order to so you, we need, you need to go to results create model solution data report rectangular plot and over there sweep and with respect as parameter and that to in db as one one db frequency and if we'll press new report it will make uh, as one one para return loss with respect to frequencies and similarly for gain uh, you need to go for file field report rectangular plot and uh, for this 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 would be solution setup you need to change it to sweep and this is only occur when you will press that uh, save fields for all frequencies and now that for infinite sphere one only you need to change primary sweep to frequency and it will uh, this will be gain so gain total in in db and uh, yes uh, for uh, you can also definitely change the value of theta and phi whatever values you can you have set in infinite uh, that radiation and from that if you press new report uh, a report will generate a result will generate so we have I've already calculated this like as you can see this return loss s11 parameter you can see at 3.5 and 5.2 around 5.25 gigahertz it's there and <coughs> I guess there was a plot of gain also so I guess this was plot of gain and similarly you can radiation pattern all those things you can plot it from the result part coming back to model this was the model thank you